Hey guys, Nate here. How you doing? Uh, I just wanted to give you an update on my uh, four-ton ammo mule trailer. It actually is a has a nine feet of sleeping space, so the inside will be open, and you'll be able to put a mattress in here and sleep in here. This will be covered with smooth um, steel. This will be covered with the uh, floor plate. This is a, a 45 degree dome lid. Uh, I domed it out like some of the original military ammo mules. Got four heavy duty hinges. It'll hinge on. Again, this will be floor plate. I'm going to put smooth steel on top. Uh, and I'm going to put a, a rack system with bolts so you can actually interchange different styles of racks. You could use this to haul 20 foot material on top of it, or you could reduce it down just to haul a tent. So I'm trying to make it a multi function trailer. Um, Here's the fender that I came up with. I increased the size of the fenders slightly to accommodate the 37 inch Humvee wheels. So these are eight lug hubs, uh, 12 inch electric brakes. Um, I left just a little bit of space, so it kind of looks a little better, I think. Um, so let's go underneath here and show you what we got. We have two trailing arms, independent suspension with poly bushings. These are 4,000 pound leaf springs. Um, I use the leaf springs instead of a coil coil spring because I'm trying to minimize uh, trailer bounce. You should get very minimal trailer bounce. You're going to get a, a little bit of uh, tire bounce, which is normal and on all trailers, but with the leaf springs, which I've never seen anybody do before with the independent trailing arm suspension, but it's all poly bushings, three quarter inch bolts, um, super reinforced. This is all you know, quarter inch by two steel, quarter inch by two flat bar. Uh, every joint has been reinforced. You can see how well this plate on top of here and on top of here. It's got the four, it's got a yeah, gusset plate. The axle is reinforced. It's all three inch axle, 7,000 pound axle. So this is. Axle will uh, this trailer will hold a good 7,000 pounds and it's got the brakes to do it too. So, this is just kind of my first heavy duty mule that I built. But this tube, your, your tube that goes in here, your hitch tube, travels all the way back to just in front of the axles right there. So, you're able to put a longer hitch piece so that hitch piece can be extended out in certain situations if you're going to climb a climb a hill or whatever you need a little more distance for your vehicle to fold down and go up a hill this trailer is a little bit uh, heavier i estimate it's going to be around 1200 pounds um, that trailer over there is 720 pounds without the spare so this trailer is a little more heavy duty but should have uh, more multiple uh, uses this is my uh, experimental jack hitch. I just put a regular caster on there with a lock, so when I build them, I can spin them around and lock them in place. Normally, a uh, regular trailer jack goes on there. I'll put a few more D-rings around the side. This trailer is going to have, on this floor plate piece right here, it's going to have rivets. I'll use carriage bolts every six or eight inches across here. And the sides are going to get a sheet metal, 18 gauge cold roll sheet metal. And I'm going to put a door. This jack will actually go on the other side. I'm going to put a door right here. So this will actually swing out like this. So you can have access. So you have the rear access. I'm going to make the everything latch from basically hidden a little bit. But this will swing out. Uh, I'm thinking about putting a roll out, uh, you know, cooking box so you can roll this out and cook on your stove and slide in put the bed on top it only needs to be about like six inches tall but uh this is you know 36 inches from the frame up to the bottom of this so hoping that'll be useful i'll probably uh, pull it behind my dodge ram 2500 so that's why i can make it a little heavier but if i was pulling behind my jeep cherokee i'd probably want to pull this trailer here because it's lightweight but for all the, the big trucks out there this could be a nice little camping trailer 
It doesn't really look like a camping trailer. It looks like a utility trailer, so it's kind of incognito, which I like that. So anyways, uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.